Jesse. <laughs> oh. Hell yeah, let's do this. Snap on Wednesday, motherfuckers. <laughs> I'm late. Oh. <clears throat> hey, sir. Mr. Tyler, how are you, buddy? Fabulous. Yourself? Good. It's so, man, it's still really weird coming in here and seeing how short this box is. <laughs> I'm used to it being up here because it used to be my box. Yeah. The epic that it was in there. Ooh, what do we got here? It's a mirror with three lights. Oh, is that, that probably has a UV light on it too, I would assume. No, just no? three white ones. Or just the three LEDs. But somebody left the light on, the batteries are dead, so I had to pull it down and get oh. the batteries for it. Good job, guys. <laughs> well, that looks like they have a These are new. Wish it had come out 20 years ago. Oh, I saw those online. Drum brakes? The drum brakes, yes. yes. It's got magnets. Holy shit, so does it fly across the room. Hold it. Yeah, man. That's pretty cool, eh? What's the part? Bad, I'm the only one I, I didn't realize it's... that they were that small. That's a pretty cool... Uh, the BST6. Cool. I didn't realize they were so small. In the pictures, they looked like they were a little bit bigger than that. <clears throat> New floodlight. low beam and a battery charge indicator nice hmm. nice rubber nice rubberized corners so it can, it'll bounce if it falls off your toolbox or if you throw it because your apprentice you're doesn't want to do the fucking mud flaps on your PR. <laughs> <laughs> when's that ever happened jordan fuck you <laughs> Uh, it is true. I have uh, I've gotten mad at a few things before. <laughs> no. Holy cow, this is a new. Well, new to me. I just thought it was a cool idea. If you don't have a solvent tank. Oh yeah. You know airline what? in Venturi solvent or degreaser you know or whatever. What? We don't have a solvent tank. That's actually a really good idea. You, you see that, Jordan? No, I have not. Oh, it's, wow. like a, it's like a portable solvent tank. I kind of like that. That's pretty neat. You use that in like your... In a uh, bucket or something like that and you're done. Well, you can use it in your... Um, like in your oil drain bucket. That's a good idea. I like that. You know how many times... You know how many times... How, many times, times how, much, how much... Well, you, Joel just watched me soak my engine block for or, uh, six days and Jordan shitty stuff. Know. Jordan, yeah, I know. What? Scan product for, scan for product videos. It's pretty cool. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I didn't mean to say Jordan, but... I like it. It's actually a really good idea. I like it. We don't have a solvent tank, and so it'd be, just, like, super useful to have. Dude, I would've used the shit out of that on my engine block. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. That might be a... That might be a need. You can use that at home and everywhere. Yeah. Well, if you have shop air at home, I don't, obviously, live in a fucking apartment. Right. We can solve that problem, too. <laughs> you don't hear me. I live in an apartment. <laughs> it can still be solved. <laughs> we, we can still get to shop there, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's not a problem. <clears throat> what do you think, Teddy? What's Teddy need for tools? Or, or 
What's he's, he been he, asking for? He's that toolbox right there. No. <laughs> I need mean, to get people leave the fucking apprentice alone. He doesn't need to buy a toolbox. What's he uh, asking he's for the most? Idea. I don't know. Uh, he doesn't ask me for anything anymore. We've managed to get him. Perfect. We've managed to get everything so far. That nice. The micro toolbox oh, you have cover. One. Nice. Oh, that's for his box on top of his. Yeah, my yeah, little my little radio. Yeah. Speakers or that's the. Fucking cool. Yeah, because we saw those on the uh, the roll cab. Yeah, the Rock and Roll Cab Rock Express. Roll cab. Yep. Those are cool. I like them. Well, do you have them in a bunch of different colors right now? Yep. <clears throat> oh, shit. Bottle openers in every toolbox color we make. Oh, shit. Here's your cranberry. Yeah. Oh, that's, yeah, that's yours right there, man. <laughs> I know. I'm looking at it from here. You need one. <laughs> Regular red, candy apple red, black, flat black. I like it. That's fucking awesome. Uh, how can you not come out of this truck and fucking spend a bunch of money? I can't um, believe he just took off. Oh, yeah, he's like, holy shit. It's about to get real in here. <laughs> he just starts seeing everything that he wants. He goes, oh, I get it. <laughs> Baby steps. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Time. What do you use the most? Yeah. 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 He hasn't. Uh, uh, we trade spots with you. Oh yeah. No. Yeah. Go ahead. Yes, we um, bought the. Uh, we bought the oil filter wrench for him. Oh, did you guys? Yeah. Well, uh, Jesse's the one that put it on us. He just paid for it. <clears throat> we were talking about it, so we he just ended up buying it because he would come up to me and borrow it like all the time, every day. You Can are. I borrow this? Can I borrow that? Can I borrow this? So we ended up getting him. Uh, well, he got a <coughs> uh, tread depth gauge and all that shit. Air pressure gauge. Yep. All the stuff he needs. These are cool now that we're coming up on RVing season. Trailer tester. Oh, yeah. So you hook that up, and you got an indicator switch. Oh. For brake lights, tail lights, brakes, turn signals. Instead of bringing a vehicle around and hooking it up to the trailer, you plug this into the trailer, so you can test all the wiring. Cool. Is it like an audible sound or something that? So you, you can do it by yourself, obviously, right? You don't. Yeah, well, you, you select area. left turn. Oh, okay. It blinks at you. Yeah, and, yeah. And that's awesome. Oh, it does both. If, if the left turn signal isn't. Does it flashing. do both sides? Or is this? What's this one? It probably does four and seven. So it does really four, know. five, six, and seven pin. Okay. You can never remember which ones do which, or at least I can never. That's pretty cool. It's a good idea. Yeah, we are That's definitely, the number. definitely coming up on oh, uh, IPA nine one one one. Coming up on trailer season, yeah, I guess so. And then one day, maybe next weekend, <clears throat> our customers uh, on bike rides. I'll do a demo on this tool if you haven't seen it already. From inductive technologies. So if you have to heat up. Let's say seatbelt bolt. Oh, you gotta. Instead this of using a torch. This is what we were talking about, dude. Oh, fuck. This is it. Yeah, the mini ductor. All right, this plugs in here. Yep. Any ferrous material inside this coil will start to heat up and it will get glowing red in, oh, in eight seconds. seconds. Oh, shit, that's the whole big kit, eh? Yeah. Oh, don't stick your finger in there. Yeah, you can. It won't do anything to you. Yeah, that's fucking cool. So you can. Yeah. I do it all the time. What we During were the doing. Demo. <laughs> what we were doing at Honda because the crank bolts would get fucking seized inside the the cranks. We would literally heat up the nut, and just boom, things would fucking come off every fucking time. We had one at Honda. You had a mini dector? Yeah. <clears throat> wow, I've only ever heard of them. And yeah. you drop in a gas tank or you know anything. There's lots of places where you don't want flames mm -hmm. everywhere. Yeah, doing not uh, to mention doing it's rear, faster doing the rear too, control right? arms on the on the Santa Fe's. <laughs> Three of us with a hose and everything. <laughs> hmm. It comes with different sizes of coils. Not to mention yeah, that's yeah, that's a big kit. This one you can form into any size or shape you want. Uh, this is the bearing buddy, it's just like a rope, so you can wrap it around. Oh, cool. Oh shit, to do a whole hub or something like that. Yeah. Fuck, that's a big kit, man. I've never seen that that size of a kit before. Really? No. 
I've, I've never always sold a smaller one. Really? Because a small one only comes with two coils. Yeah. Or one yeah. this. It comes with these three. That's right. Oh. That's it. I've never sold that. Yeah, I've never seen. This I've is the only way I've one. ever sold it. That's <clears throat> the way it go, though. I can see that I being see. very popular. Long ones, short ones. Yeah. And just a 110 plug-in, like, so like working in a, hmm? Just yes. normal 110 plug-in? Nope. Yeah, 110. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Just a normal wall outlet. Yep. It's fucking nice. Perfect. They have another model called the Venom, which is essentially the same except it's a little smaller and it comes off at about a 45 degree angle. So you got a handle so it's not oh, okay. this mm -hmm. long, it's only yeah long. Yeah, because that could be a little bit cumbersome to get into some some certain places. Yeah. Look at all these awesome but things. These things you have bend, that right? Bend. So yeah. you can just yeah, you just bend it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm in love. <laughs> All I own is old cars, so this shit's like yeah, perfect. Don't show Jesse that. Why? I don't know. Probably buy it. And I don't want to show it to him. Why? <laughs> he's yeah. he's got a he's got a four by four Dakota. <laughs> that he's constantly fixing snapping so. bolts off. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Well, cool, Mr. Toller. Yeah, should probably get uh, back in the shop, I guess. Get the rest of our day done, so we'll see you guys in the shop. Well, welcome back, guys, to Snap on Wednesday here in the shop. Uh, well, we saw the truck stuff, saw a couple of new tools, the uh, the brake spring tool. Keep an eye out for that. If you guys need it, get one, because they are going fast, I know that, um, and it's a pretty cool tool. Uh, we don't do so much brake, uh, uh, rear brake, rear drum brakes here, so not something that I need. Uh, every time I have done drum brakes, I haven't really needed it. But uh, you know what? When I worked at GM and I worked at Honda when we were doing all the rear brakes, all the time. Uh, so, uh, yeah, um, I have April's Hot Tools Flyer today finally, so uh, that's going to go up in the next couple of days. I will get that done and put out for everybody to do. Uh, there looks like they're introducing their new power tops. Uh, so I know that they have switched companies and they are now doing snap-on stainless tops in-house. If you have a new top, let me know what you think of it because you guys are gonna, yeah, there's gonna be some feedback on these. I know that uh, right away. So uh, let me know what you think. I'm still waiting for my top. Um, actually, so the, the update is, is when I get my hutch, um, uh, Brian, the owner of Shark, will come in and take all the measurements that he needs to do and then we're going to be about three to four weeks out before I get my top. So my hutch will be on my toolbox uh, without the top. So um, I got the, uh, the cover for my, for my speaker. Um, part number is SPP2, uh, sorry, SPP923PBO. And that is the micro micro top box cover, and that's in red. Uh, you can order it in all the different colors. Um, so I thought I'd pick one up because once my once my tops on my box and everything, and the lights are on, it's gonna look cool. Um, I had a I had a baby girl. Um, well, my daughter had a baby girl, so I'm a grandpa um, on Monday. So congratulations to my daughter Michelle. Yeah, I'm old enough to have a granddaughter. How about that, eh? Ain't that some shit. Um, so anyway, yeah, so she had her baby on Monday uh, at around 10.50. Nice, healthy baby girl. So, yeah, super excited. We were, uh, my wife and I were there for the birth. And uh, it was a pretty cool day. I'm a grandpa, so that's cool. So congratulations to me. <laughs> uh, congratulations to my daughter, actually, for becoming a mom. And uh, it's fucking noisy in the shop today. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Anyway, that's pretty much all I did today. Uh, it's been a really busy day today in the shop as well. As it always is, so it doesn't slow down for us. You guys already already know this. Uh, so anyway, uh, yes. So April Hot Tools Flyer in the next couple of days, that'll be up. And uh, that's pretty much all I got for you guys. So remember to comment, like, share, subscribe, and peace out, guys. I will see you in the next one. Thank you.